Hey, what's up, Internet? I have Cyberverse One Step World. Early. Again. My Toys R Us has ignored the street date and put these out early, so... Hooray for that! Anyways, packaging here is your standard one-step packaging, except this time they have a massive warning label that just, like, slides around the back. Um, you got a picture of World at the front with his Turbo Talon, which is not great. Uh, he's World. Battle for Cybertron. As opposed to with these figures boxes being Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures. So the naming scheme is kind of weird. Um, on the back, you've got, you know, World, One Step. That's always a lie. That's always a lie on One Step Changers. They don't take one step. They take more. But yeah, that, that's basically it for the box. That hit me in the head. That hit me in the head. Anyways, here's Whirl in his helicopter mode. And I bought this guy and Megatron. Same day, i.e. this morning, and he's definitely much better than Megatron, and he's a one-step changer. He just looks so neat. I know the blues don't match at all, but I kind of like that. It kind of plays into his chaotic uh, personality with his chaotic color scheme. You got the yellow cockpit, the Autobot symbol, the machine gun on the side. Um, it's a clean helicopter mode, too. I mean, I know he has, like, some kibble at the bottom, but it's much cleaner than a lot of other more expensive higher-end deluxe uh, helicopter figures deluxe and voyager helicopter figures so yeah that's pretty cool um i don't have any cyberverse figures in their alt mode but i do have blur so here's Bl titan's returns blur another blue toy so he's pretty long he's like deluxe size in vehicle mode so but that's just due to his massive tail and his transformation is not one step but it is very easy to do so you grab him by the tail and by the nose and you just push the nose and it just unfolds the whole toy like that. That's your one step. Then step number two is fold out the feet. Step number three is flip up the propellers. And step number four is bring the tail fin up and clip it into the propellers. Oh, and step number five is open his hand. So five steps. Um, I don't know why they call it. It's not one step. It's five steps. Come on. But here you have Whirl. And they went with the G1 design with the way that the hands work, as opposed to the IDW design where he had two claws. He has the gun and the claw, which is actually really cool. Um, it's Whirl with an angry eyebrow, kind of like um, ooh, kind of like Warrior Shockwave and his angry eyebrow. So, yeah, he's still pretty neat. I do like how this looks. The paint work is so nice. It's actually silver on here, silver there, silver there. Uh, the legs have no no paint on them at all. But he has his traditional like ski feet, which is cool. His articulation is literally just his arms can move all forward and back. His claw. This is his turbo claw. That's it. That's all it does. Yay. Um, and his arms are like spring loaded here. I do like how they make the propeller stay up with the uh, tail fin. So that's pretty cool. Um, but there's not much else to say about him. Here he is next to a Siege Deluxe. And here he is next to a... Cyberverse Deluxe. So you can see how tall he is. He's shorter than a Deluxe, but oh well, he's a one step. I just bought him because I really like World. I don't have Voyager Generations World. I really, 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 that's like a holy grail of mine is Generations Voyager Class World. That one would be so awesome to have because um, I missed out on it when it first came out, but you know, they're hard to get now. But I don't know what, what else there is to say about One Step Whirl other than the fact that he is One Step Whirl and he is better than Deluxe Megatron, who refuses to stand. I really don't like that figure, and I highly recommend you don't buy it unless you really want to complete Mac Adam. So, yeah. Anyways, Whirl. He's great. Uh, anyways, that's it. Uh, socials are linked in the description. Bionicle Journey to Home stuff linked in the description. Patreon in the description. Uh, subscribe if you want. And that's it, so goodbye.